And our fourth main topic today comes to us from Amis R, who writes, Hey, John, did you hear about the footage contained within the extra scenes in Endgame? Message from Russo's Hulk post credit scene, Stanley tribute, and uh, Far From Home tease. Do you think this is enough, or should there be more to keep fans interested? All right, thanks a lot for the message, Amis. And here's what Amis is talking about, all right? This is what Amis is talking about. A bunch of the stuff that is going to be in these post credit scenes. And again, it bears repeating. Remember, guys, it's the exact same Avengers Endgame movie that's going to be in theaters this weekend as it's always been. It's not changing one bit. It's the exact same movie. There are no added scenes. There's nothing like that at all. It is the exact same movie. The only difference is stuff that comes post credits. They're going to drop a couple of things post credits. Now, Marvel officially put out a statement telling us most of what this post credit stuff is going to be. Here's what it was written in that stuff. Now this comes to us from Polygon. And in the press release it says this, fans who buy a movie ticket will receive an exclusive piece of Avengers art, which everybody throws away five minutes after they get in the theater. Uh, Cause lots of movies do this. While supplies last until supplies run out. Uh, and will also be treated to a video introduction by the director, Anthony Russo, and unfinished deleted scene, one unfinished deleted scene from the film, and it will be a chance for fans to get a head start on the upcoming Marvel Studios Spider-Man Far From Home with a special sneak peek. With a special sneak peek. Okay, so essentially this. Marvel has now told us we're getting a deleted scene, one. We are getting an introduction by the director. Fine. We, we kind of knew that. We're going to get a sneak peek at Spider-Man Far From Home. Essentially a new trailer or a new uh, scene that they probably would have dropped online anyway. There's also words. It also says that we're probably going to get a tribute to Stan Lee, which is what we all expected already anyway. Now, the one kind of catch on this that goes along with this is that a couple of reports started floating around that we can neither confirm nor deny are actually true. There's a, there's a good possibility this isn't true at all, but the word going around right now is that the deleted scene they're going to show involves Bruce Banner or, you know, Professor Hulk. It's going to involve Hulk. There's no information about what it will be. And again, it very well may not be true at all, Rob. This report about this could absolutely be 100% untrue. But the word is that it's going to be Professor Hulk in a, some deleted scene involving him. Now, for those of you who might get excited and go, we're going to see Hulk smash. No, we're not. It, it's, it, we, that's not the Hulk that they went for in this movie. So I'm assuming the deleted scene might be a conversation between him and Black Widow. Might be. It's going to be a talking scene, I believe. It's probably not going to be an action scene, but that's just my guess. So the question that the person who sent it in, Rob, is asking is this enough to motivate people to run out and buy a movie ticket to go see one deleted scene, an introduction from the uh, directors, which we get attached to a lot of movies anyway, an extra little look at Far From Home, a movie that opens up in a week and a half anyway, uh, a tribute to Stan Lee, which I'll tell you what, out of all the stuff they're talking about, that's the part that interests me the most, is the Stan Lee tribute part. I got to tell you, I can only speak for myself. It ain't enough to get me to run out to the theater again so for, for post credits for just that. And by the way, Rob, going back to this other thing we talked about off the top, they already just announced it. Oh, look, all that stuff was already listed that they're going to have in the home video release one month from now, one month from now introduction from the director instead of one they're going to have six deleted scenes tribute to stan lee the only thing that wasn't mentioned there was a a, a sneak peek at spider-man far from home because spider-man far from home will already be in theaters by the time this home video comes out but other than other than that spider-man far from home it's all stuff that's going to be in the home release in four and a half weeks so i'll tell you what rob i believe that there are people out there who you could say um in the post credit scene, there will be a three-second shot of Robert Downey Jr. biting into a donut and then smiling at the camera, and there will be some people that go and buy a new ticket to go see that. I mean, there just are. There's a lot of endgame enthusiasm. Will this get a lot of people out? 
Rob, the only way I see this getting a lot of people out is if it's people who misunderstand what it is they're getting. Because I am still seeing online, Rob, people who have an assumption. There's still people online. I I'm seeing it on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. There are still people thinking that they're going to go see Avengers Endgame again this weekend and they're going to see extra scenes put in and they're not. So I don't know. I don't see this as enough to motivate a lot of people. Rob, you heard the rundown of the list. Let's just for the sake of discussion, assume that the Hulk part is true, even though it very well may not be. But let's just for the sake of the discussion, it is. Is this enough, do you think, to warrant and justify running out and seeing the movie again? No. I mean, here's the thing. What do people want to see most in situations like this? They want to see scenes that they didn't see. You know, ever since the Lord of the Rings extended versions have come out, we know that these large, giant tentpole properties have missing scenes that are taken out for whatever reason. There's director's cuts. We have director's cuts of T2, of Aliens, of The Abyss from James Cameron, Ridley Scott, the director's cut of The Martian, and half of his movies. That's what people like more than anything, is they like to see scenes more information than the movies had in them. And we're getting eight deleted scenes on the home video release. Eight or is it six? Six or eight, or whatever. Or a six bunch. or eight or something. Whatever plus you just said. Plus a gag reel. Plus a gag yeah, reel. Yeah, plus a gag reel. I mean, that's and people love gag reels. And I, I just think that that while it's cool, I would rather have them come out with an ad campaign that says, help us make Endgame the number one film of all time. Beat Avatar. Go see it again. <laughs> I would have been like, all right, you know, maybe I'll do that. But this this just seems sort of lackluster, if that for lack of a better word. Uh, I would like to have seen a little bit more, I think. Or the rumored, the rumored uh, Michael Pena scene where he he in character is, in his character from Ant Man explains the entire MCU. Luis, the Luis that they filmed this sequence. They've said they filmed it. Feige confirmed they filmed it. That's what I would love oh, to have seen. Oh, I want to see that. So I would have bad. gone out to see that. For that was that was the thing that I most. If that was at the end of the movie, I'm like, I'm going to see that. I, yep. I gotta admit. And I think I said this before, if there was anything that might nudge me to go just into the theater again this weekend to see what's up is if they included that. If they included that and advertised that, yeah, even if it was only like three minutes long, I got to admit, I would probably be so weak that I would probably break down and go in and see that. Too. I mean, they might unveil they, it at Comic-Con. They might unveil at Comic-Con. They might be, you know, they might be saving that for Comic-Con to make right. a big thing at Comic-Con, give them everybody a big moment. They might be saving it. Maybe it's going to be on the home video release and they're going to wait till like a week or two before and then launch that. And I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It would have been interesting enough. But the question here then, guys, is. What about you? I know a lot of you guys were very, very excited at first when you heard Avengers re-release this, that, new scenes, blah, blah. But is your enthusiasm still there now that we're getting a clear picture of what's going to be in there? Maybe you are still excited about it. Maybe you were planning on seeing it again anyway. Because, Rob, I still think there are a lot of people who are still just planning on its own to see Avengers Endgame again before it leaves theaters. Why not? Jump down in the comments section below and let me know what you guys think about all that. All right.